Hey guys, welcome back with another video on our channel, Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you a few of the data warehouse concept based questions that have been frequently asked in Power BI interviews and one should know how to answer it in the interview. This is part 2. I have already uploaded part 1. So go and first check out that video. I will provide the link in the description box and then come to this video. So let's start the video and before that, if, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all my videos. So let's start. So this is the first question. Explain difference between dimension and fact table. Okay, pause and think of the answer. Let's have the answer that you should tell in front of the interviewer. So dimension table contains master data which do not change frequently like your customer details table or product details table. Okay, so the data that is master which do not frequently change is dimension data. Okay, now comes the fact table. Fact table contains transaction data which updates frequently and also contains all the keys with which the dimension tables are connected to it. So the fact table contains the attributes or the columns with which your other dimension tables get connected to it. Okay, so in this way you have to answer this question to the interviewer. Let's move to the next question. What is the difference between star and snowflake schema in the model view? So, how to answer this question? Think. Let's have the answer now. Each for star schema, each dimension is represented with one dimensional table having a set of attributes. Fact table is at the center which contains the keys to every dimension table and, and attributes like units sold, etc., quantity, etc. On the other hand, in Snowflake schema, the dimension table in this are normalized. That is, it is split into additional tables and we have less redundant data. The rest of the things are similar to star schema. The second difference that you can mention for a star schema is it is safe performance wise to use this schema when fact table constitutes 80% or more of the data. Okay. If, okay, so if you have most of the data concentrated in your fact table, then definitely go for star schema. And for snowflake schema, this schema can be used when dimension tables are huge in size. Okay, so when dimension tables are huge, you can further categorize that into two or more tables. For example, you can categorize product table or divide product table into two tables, product and product category. Okay, in this way, you can give the difference between star and snowflake schema. Okay, let's move to the next question. Do you know about role playing dimension? Okay, pause and think of the answer. Okay, let's have the answer now. So a dimension table that has multiple valid relationships with a fact table is known as a role playing dimension. Okay, for example, date key in date dimension table could be connected to shipment date or deliver date in the sales fact table. So date key is playing or can play two roles here. So that's why you can say it is acting like a role playing dimension here. Okay. So in this way you can answer this question. Let's move to the next question. Have you heard about fact constellation schema? Okay. Pause and think of the answer. Let's have the answer now. So fact constellation scheme schema is also known as galaxy schema. It contains more than one fact table and it can be viewed as a collection of several star schemas. Okay. Then you can mention that dimensions which are shared between the fact tables are conformed dimensions and it, it is much more complex than star and snowflake schemas. Hence, it is hard to implement and maintain. So you can mention these many points when the, inter when the interviewer asks you about fact constellation schema. Okay. Let's move to the next question. Can you tell about degenerate dimensions? So pause and think of the answer. Let's have the answer now. So a dimension which is stored in a fact table and has no associated dimension table to it is called a degenerate dimensions. So you would have noticed in our fact tables there are many other columns apart from the columns with which the, with which the dimension tables are connected to it. Right? You would have noticed this many times. So the columns that are not used anywhere to create for creating the relationship with the other dimension tables are called the degenerate dimensions. Okay, so in this way you have to explain this degenerate dimensions. Okay, so that's it from this video. I I hope you learned something through this video. And if you like the content, please hit the like button and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. 